here we go again with Ben Crump spewing the same tired lip service after a family loses their loved one to police brutality. Let me ask you this. How much more black pain are you going to allow Ben Crump to profit from before you start seeing the pattern? I'm telling you that Ben Crump has a large enough platform to end police brutality within 30 days, not just in one state, but in every state. I'm not an attorney. I am a mother. I began doing legal research when my daughter was railroaded in court with lies. Now I'm a legal advocate and I'm very passionate about justice. I'm telling you, if I know how to stop police brutality in 30 days, within 30 days, if I know, surely Ben Crump knows too. His brand is high profile black pain at the hands of police brutality and police misconduct. So he has no vested interest in seeing that come to an end. Think about this for a second. Wasn't the last incident of police brutality bad enough and should have ended all of it? But it never does. It never does because we have people like Ben Crump, who doesn't want it to end, not really. At this rate, we can absolutely count on Ben Crump to give you dry lip service at the next press conference, standing next to the next family, grieving family, at the next event of police brutality, because it's not going to stop. Rest assured, it's not going to stop because he doesn't want it to stop. You'll see him at the press conferences given the same dry lip service to incite outrage against the cops. The outrage against the cops only is a misdirection, okay? The cops must be held accountable, absolutely. But you also need to keep going up the chain of command because those cops answer to those people further up the chain of command. Press conferences, Hashtag movements, public outrage, that doesn't stop police brutality, and Ben Crump knows that. One of his catchphrases was, we're done dying, yet more people are dying. Why? You got to hold the right people accountable, and you got to hit them in the pocket. Again, hold everyone accountable, not just focus on the cops. And that's how you end police brutality, once and for all. And until we're all safe, none of us are safe.